hello guys in this video we are going to see how to create a otp verification screen so i will be creating for four digit otp you can create accordingly either for six or eight whatever you want so let's get started so first of all i need four text fields so what i will do i will just create one separate function which will be returning me the text field back so let's create a function my input box which should be returning a widget back and let's say return a container and you can add some decoration with the help of container i just add child and then we need this text field and here we need to specify we need a controller as well so let's take a controller let's say controller and this controller should be coming from here so that would be text editing controller controller and one more thing we can take here is build context in case we need it okay okay fine now for container decoration we will do it later on let me quickly just write rest of the things so we need numbers only so let's use keyboard type text input type dot number save it and we just go here and instead of using this text let's remove this First of all, we just put it into a single child scroll view and let's add comma and here we just need some padding everywhere. So or we can simply use the column here. I will wrap this column with padding and here I need to use this. Let's use this over here and we need to create controller as well let's go here on the top and create four controllers here text editing controller let's give it txt1 equal to text editing controller second third and fourth let's change it to two three four save it and let's give this controller here that would be txt okay so let me just close this add comma here and remove the scones from here and save this and see how it looks okay so we got this here it's fine let's put it down now i can do what i need four controllers over here copy paste and just write two three four and these should be in one row not in a code so let's save this and see how it looks okay so we are having some uh, width issue so what we need to do is let's use that column we have used for decoration over there that the container so here we can mention the height and width okay 70 and just give some width let's say 60 later on we will modify accordingly save this and i just restart this and meanwhile it is restarting let's add some decoration here as well so for decoration we will be using box decoration and in this box we need to use border border dot all and we can give some border give it some width to one you can modify it accordingly later on and do we need anything else yes we can just save this first of all and here what i can do just i will use main axis alignment main axis alignment what space even so seems better and just go here and go here if you want you can just make your border radius as well 
border radius so const border radius dot all so let's say radius columns let's give it something let's keep it 20 and then we will see later on okay that's fine and here the text you need to increase so for that what i will do just add a style over here so let's go here for using some style here text style let's give it font size to let's say 42 and so let's save this okay now seems better but we need one more thing text align should be enter for support save this okay and so we are getting multiple so i just want only one digit over here so for that what i can do let's use on change so let's say once on change is there we will be getting one function that's gonna give you some value back let's use this so we will check if this value ever is entered in this text field dot length uh, becomes one then do what simply focus focus scope dot of context dot next focus yep so this gonna move to the next whenever you enter any value let's say i say i just delete this one you can see the cursor is automatically moved to next bit two five seven okay okay so let's do what this is fine and yep i delete this and check it again so we can enter multiple values as well okay so what we can do in order to do so there is a one more property here max length so let's give it one let's try this time okay you can see something is coming over here let's delete so it is basically the count so what we can do in order to remove this count so we have to use one more property over here that is decoration and here we can use a const input decoration and there is a something counter and you can say there is a counter text so you can just make it empty save this and this is removed okay yep okay so this is fine now i need to move here and here i will just add some decoration so first of all i just wrap this row with the columns go here so first of all on the top you can simply display some text and saying and if you want you can just style save this and done next is we can just simply some text let me just copy this and we will be saying here let's say enter the four is it so you can update your text accordingly and let's decrease this to 20 and save this okay and we can add some space here so const sized box save this and we just add one more spacing over here as well save this okay so that's fine 
Now we need a button as well. Just go under this row. Say elevated button and on press we will be doing later on. And the child would be const text that is very but save this. Okay, so this is basically giving us smaller button. We can do what we can just add the style. So let's add style and we can say elevated button dot style from and uh, we can use there is a property minimum size size dot yeah from height so we can specify some height over here let's give it 50 and we don't need cones here let's remove check here what's wrong uh, uh, so we have added this style here it should be to the button so let's remove this and save this and check this okay so we got a button with full width okay so this is just a height if you specify height the width would be by default full screen whatever width is available now here comes the role of the heading we just go here and wrap this column into padding so now your button will look better okay and same way before this button we need some spacing let's go here and give it some spacing let's say 40 is enough okay so if you want you can increase your font size here as well so let's say and save this fine so you can adjust accordingly that's fine and on click of button we need to do what we need to check the value center is valid or not so we just add a dummy condition over here so what to do is first of all we need to fetch value from these fields so do what here final let's say otp is equal to so we will be getting from text one dot text plus text two dot sorry txt two dot text plus txt three dot text plus txt four dot text so this is going to give you one string of otp and you can check it over here if this otp is equal to is equal to let's say any any condition you can add let's say one nine eight nine if this is a otp then go to welcome otherwise simply say invalid otp invalid otp is equal to true so just we need to put it into set state yep. and this variable we can create on the top let's go here and simply say initially it would be false okay save now you can verify this and we are not displaying this actually so what to do is if this is in a valid otp then we have to display that that the otp is not valid just before this button here what we can see we can simply write a text invalid otp if it is then simply say invalid otp otherwise we can simply say nothing and we have to add the style as well so let's add style and we need the color of text as well that should be red save this 
and you can see it is coming here so let's add some spacing over here as well save this okay that's fine and what else you need so if it is valid it should go to the it should go to that home page let me just remove this it's one nine eight nine verify and we can check here so we have not added any condition over here in so here if it is one eight nine eight you can say this or tape is valid it should be false and just check it over here and see this is removed so here we can navigate it to that uh, home page whatever you have okay so simply use navigator dot of context dot push replacement and here you need to give your material page route and you need to add builder over here let's add a builder function and simply say const home page so i have already that's fine so if i go here it would be going to home page so let me just restart it and let's try with this invalid and this time one nine eight nine and verify and you can see you are moved to welcome okay let's go back here and if you want you can add little more decoration over here so what i can do here is on the top of this we can add one more text and saying let's add more spacing over here and simply say what i just need one row and here i will be adding children and here i will be adding some text so let's say const text save this let's add style okay so go here and simply use main axis alignment center okay so here along with this i will be displaying one more button or you can simply display text as well so let's say so based on the condition we can do so so what condition we can do uh let's create one variable here on the top recent or you can say recent time is done uh, we just keep it zero initially I go here and check if this is zero then do what then I want a text so I want a clickable text so let's say ink well and child would be so const text that would be re sent and you can say star text style color and I just remove this cones here and this is fine and because we have used cones here that's why we are facing this issue let's paste it over here and let's paste it over here and there is one more property over here for the sync web that is on tap so on tap we will be executing some function over here that is recent otp code 
so we can write that code over here okay if it is not then do what then simply don't display anything so const sized box what's wrong okay so this is not here it should be something after the sync well that should be something here that's fine so let's save this so we are just adding this button or you can say clickable text and let me just use the same style over here copy this and use it over here save this it should be looking similar and here we can add little spacing let's use const sized box and we can use some width here so let's give it some width save this and that's fine so this is now click okay fine so what I want, I want once this verification is started, one timer should be coming over here. Okay, so for that I need to write some code here. Go here. So I can use this code, let's say recent time is, let's say 60 seconds we are keeping initially. Okay, and we need what? We need one timer here. So let's say late timer let's say count down timer and let me just import this from a sync okay let just show you here this okay so this is slate so we need to initialize it in init so in init we will be doing something over here so what to do is let's create one function here is start timer which is going to initialize it and here we can call that start timer so what to do here is we were using this countdown timer is equal to we want a timer dot periodic we want to execute something after a interval so for that i'm using this periodic so here you need to pass the duration so our duration would be one second always so after one second it should be changing the text and this would be const so let's add const here and now here this would be your callback so what we can do here is here we need to write the code so what i want here just set state and just decrease that time let's copy this and use this time is equal to this time minus one so we'll decrease it one second by one second and what else i need to do so once this is done i need to check one condition as well if this timer or you can say this recent time goes below one then we need to do what we need to just cancel this countdown timer so copy paste dot we have yep so cancel this so once it is getting less than this so we will be canceling and just done with this so same way we need to stop the timer as well so in stop you also need to do that uh, cancel so if you want you can create a separate function over here like i just create here let me stop timer and once it is doing what so you can just cancel we can check it if this timer is active so let's say dot is active then you can cancel that timer okay done with this Another thing is we are not displaying that text anywhere. So we need to display that text somewhere. Just go here. 
so let's go what before this we can use one more and here we can write here check for this recent time if it becomes zero then do what simply say text you don't need to say anything so let's go over if it is not zero then you can simply say let's say dollar mm, recent time and seconds or you can write like this okay and otherwise you can simply say const sized box and uh, save this what i'm missing is comma let's add that save this and you need to mention the style go here now this is not zero that's why this text is not coming okay so what to do is initially it should be 60 that is already and yep so we have started the timer so let me just restart and see you can see the time is coming over here and meanwhile it is executing after this row we don't need much space let's give it 10 save this and why there is much space after this let's decrease this to 20 and yep here is a space let's decrease fine so let's wait Now you can see this resend is coming over here so what if uh, if you want to do one more thing once it is uh, coming under 10 you can append a zero in front of it what we can do is i just create one function over here which gonna give me string back that is what you can say string to that's a string for matting and which gonna simply return me let's take one input from here first let's say any number we are getting from here so we are keeping number in the recent time so if this number let me return this this number dot do string and then there is a function add left so which we need to specify the width and if width the number of elements are lesser than width then what to be filled so we want two digits always and if the digit is less then append zero in front of that fine and here we need to do what we just need to put it here and we can wrap it like this so since it is more than one so let's wrap it with a curly braces so save this now you can just restart it and you can see now now you can see after 10 it should be 09 yep and so what we have to do once it is moved to zero so we need to execute some code on the recent click so currently it is not doing anything so what i want to do here is first of all this invalid otp what's the variable name so invalid otp to false once we clicked on recent button it should not show the error and what else so the our time that is recent time is again set back to 60 so you can keep it uh, as much you want so i just keep it with uh, 60 seconds and you can some start the timer okay so it will start the timer again and one more thing i'm missing is once the code verified is okay so we don't need this by default it is going to move to next 
but instead of this we can do what we can just cancel the timer there is a function we have created stop timer yep we can call it okay okay so that is all let's quickly restart and if i click on resend again you can see the timer is again started and same way if i just enter the 1989 OTP and verify it is moved to welcome. So that is all for this video. If you have doubt, do comment in the comment section. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.